Well, how do that, chums? Right, well, it's I, Captain of the Steve, and today, chums, for you guys in the viewerverse, I'm back doing my archive hunts. I'm looking for a decent archive to build myself a news desk. Yes, where's my joypad? There it is, over there. Right, okay, and it's tangled up on something. And I have got a news desk inside my freighter, which you do get to see NPCs walking around and doing their thing at this news desk, which is pretty darn sweet. But it's a bit confined, it's a little bit claustrophobic, but it can still serve as a news desk from time to time. Heck, yes, it can. But I just want one on planet's surface so we can see everything that's going on inside of game. Let's jump on into game, shall we, people? Chicka boom! There we are, we're inside of game. And I've already hit on up this giant bathtub looking thing on my freighter and scanned this system. And there is an interesting planet here that I want to go and check out. It's a flourishing planet. Now, it has got a high sentinel activity, but I don't think it's going to have the storms because there's nothing activated there. There's no activated copper. Heck no. So we're going to head on down. This is a Viking system of space peeps. So hopefully, hopefully, we're going to find ourselves a lovely archive here, people. And then I'm going to have one that's Ark. I've got one that's Viking, Gek, and Corbax, then, for us to go and have a look at. A little bit of a butcher's. Not in this episode. Next episode, it will be a reveal of all three. So even if you have missed these three episodes that I've done prior, then, uh, yeah, it's going to be like a, an overview of them all. Right, so now we're going to fly in Planet Moba. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look, see if we can find it. Now, pretty much every time that I've tried to find these planets in the past, it's always the last one that I spot. It's obviously not that one. It's green and red that we're looking for. Green and red. Oh, it could be that... Oh, that's a frost crystal. No, nope. there's a ringed one. It's going to be the last one again, isn't it? It blatantly is. Um, and it's probably going to be hiding behind that planet. Because if that's not it... Oh, that's it. That's it. Hold on, it was green and red when we scanned it from... I'm sure it was green and red. Not freaking... Yeah, look, it should be green and red. Look, it's good. Oh, I give up. <laughs> well, let's have ourselves a little sip of tea. Lovely jobby. Fun times, people, fun times. All right, well, let's, let's get on down to this planet and let's just hope that it looks pretty darn sweet once we're there. I was hoping it'd have, like, you know, at least red oceans or something. Maybe it might change colour as we break the atmosphere. I doubt it, though. Let's have a look. Um, yeah. It is what it is, people. Once we arrive, we'll find the archive and we'll see if the archive looks swimmingly awesome. But then again, uh, this planet could be awesome when we actually land. Okay, well, it's let's land near to the sort of brownie sort of looking... Swampland. Oh, the terrain's quite... Hold on. <laughs> I haven't even popped a chart. And look, there's an archive here. And not only that, it's my freaking logo colours. And would you look at the foliage on this planet as well? We've got red trees. I'm not loving all these crater impacts. Oh my days. Three is definitely the magic number in this case. It, it matches my logo colours. It's got earth-like coloured green sort of... Yeah, and you know, over in England, you know, our waters aren't blue. They're, they're kind of the murky sort of colour that you see in here. So, this is pretty darn freaking epic. I wanted to find an archive that had one of these round sort of tops to it. And the third one that I've found has got one of these round sort of tops to it, which is pretty darn special, isn't it, really? Well, I think it is. For me, it is. This is, this is what I described that I wanted to find in my series, people. So that's pretty darn freaking epic. I'm just going to take a photo of that. That's going to be my thumbnail for this video. I'm going to stick that on your Twitterverse while I remember people. There we go. I'm not going to put too much on there. Just snap it on Twitter. Post. Done. I think that's done. I don't know whether I've done that twice. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is probably where we're going to be sticking a, um, a desk. Hold on. Oh. Phew, I thought there wasn't any NPCs for a second. I thought it might have been an abandoned system. Ha! Huh. What what fauna have we got on this planet, people? Are they Triceratops? I think they are. We've got we've got Triceratops on the planet as well, people. I like the dinosaur creatures. If this had diplos as well, or pterodactylians or something like that, I'd be freaking we we'll go and have a look at the fauna in a second. We're going to have a look at more of the wildlife on this planet, people. Well, yeah, this is awesome. I like this. I like this a lot, people. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is pretty darn cool. It hasn't got the mezzanine going to the right, has it? No, normally there's a mezzanine that comes off of here. 
and goes to the right, but there isn't on this one. So where would I place a desk? I could probably place it here, I guess, there. But which way would I face it? I'd like to see all the ships taken off and stuff. There's not many NPCs in this one. There really isn't. I suppose I could stick it maybe even, I don't know, here? So you can see some NPCs? you see a lot more ships landing on this one, I think. I'm liking all these lights and stuff. It could really light the desk up quite well. i build a desk in a sec. I'll tell you what, let's go and have a look at the actual fauna on this planet. And then, well, I'll come back up and I'll build a base. And uh, Well, a, 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 a news desk. I mean, I, I could put it somewhere over here, actually, couldn't I? So you can actually see a little bit more of the actual structure. Or uh, if I stuck it up here, would that be any good? I don't know whether it'd be under... Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it so you can see that big giant ball on the top, but... Yeah, okay, anyway, fauna. Let's go and have a look at the fauna. Let's go see whatever fauna frequents a planet like this. Okay, lovely jobs. Uh, so I do like these triceratops. The triceratops are freaking groovy. And look, there's a freaking load of them. There's loads of them. Is that a stegosaur? No. Have we got a stegosaurus? We have got a little stegosaur guy. Look, he's got the plates on his back like a stegosaur. And he's really cute. Ha! Oh, he's very cool. Alright, well, let's, um, let's see what else we've got. Oh, we've got dragony flies. Dragony flies. Scanning the dragony flies. Boom. Heck yes. Okay, uh, what else have we got on this planet? So, yeah, on all the other planets, I showcase the creatures as well, all the fauna and that. Okay, we've got something going here. It looks like a regular pigeon, though. Yeah, it's one of those little hamstery type looking ones. One of them little guys. Not quite a pterodactylian. But, yeah. Pretty groovy. Alright, anything else over here? Got more triceratops. Lovely flowers. What the fudge, they're big. No, oh, no, they're not. It's just, uh, I was looking at them close up. <laughs> Perspective! Okay, here we go. There's another bird. It's another one of those. It's, it's not exactly noteworthy, is it? Oh, Why'd it go down the path? Give me my pterodactylian. What have we got? Okay, we've got another one of those little guys, like a badger with wings or something. Okay, um, yeah, so fair few creatures on this planet, but I'm not seeing a lot of the ground dwellers because of just the amount of triceratopses that there are here. Well, there's tend to be found, uh, ground always active, rare ground always active, and then the others are all underwater, which I'm not going to bother going and exploring the oceans. Oh, look at this at night. Oh, that's freaking gorgeous, isn't it? That's that's amazing. I mean, even if I if I build the desk here, though, you're not going to see how amazing that top part is, are you? You know, unless I build it on the freaking roof, which d kind of defeats the point because I want to have all the NPCs and the ships landing in the background, so it almost looks like a, a news hub. You know, I like to have the NPCs there roaming around. However, this one, although it's my favourite configuration of an actual no, archive, it hasn't got that many NPCs and hasn't got that many gantries or walkways for said NPCs. I would say maybe the Gek one or the Corvax one has got the most hustle and bustle. This is pretty cool. I mean, technically I could put the news desk here, facing that way into the archive. So you've got that guy there in the background. Yeah, you know what, leave it with me, people. I'll find a spot to put down the base, and I'll be right back with you in a second. When I say base, you know you know what I'm doing. I'll see you in a second, peeps. All right, take care. Right, well, people, I have made my news desk. Let me have a little sip of my tea, and I'll jump into game and show you it. Lovely jubbly. So, yeah, let's jump into game, then, like I suggested. Chicka boom so this is my news desk here. I figured it would be best to purchase it just about here. So I can, I'm going to be having it at this sort of angle. I think let's uh, let's just go into camera mode. I mean, not going to be able to see the movement too much. Where it's going to be is about there, I think. Um, however, it has to be square on, doesn't it? So it might have to be like that, which is a bit of an interesting view. I think we're going to have the dinosaurs walking around in the background. And uh, we'll be able to see everything else going on. You know what? Let's go into first person mode. Let's go into first person mode. Da, 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 da. First person mode. Put that there. So I think it's probably going to have to be about there as a view, which I think is all right. I guess. Then if I get rid of me on the screen, but then put me inside of game. So there we go. Inside of game. 
And if I expand this folder and just take out the laptop screen just for a second. Now, did you see that, people? So if I move over a little bit over here, so that's kind of where I'm thinking I need to be inside of here. And I think that looks quite good in reporting. The only thing is you're not going to see many NPCs moving around in this one. Um, but you see how it rumbles every now and again. I think that's due to either ships landing or it might be due to uh, the, the wildlife on this planet or the triceratopses. But every now and again, the screen shakes. Let's see if it shakes when the ship lands behind me. No, it didn't shake then, so I'm not too sure what's causing the shake. I know that there's a screen shake option, but if we did have it here, I might have to turn the screen shake off. Because it happens, it happens a little bit indiscriminately. Maybe there's because there's a landing pad right behind me, I don't know. But I quite like the hues that we're getting here at night. It looks pretty darn freaking impressive. Now, I haven't been here long enough to see what it looks like in the day. I mean, how long have we got? Oh, it's going to become daytime any second now, people. So, you know what, that's, that's not too bad. We can wait for that to happen. But yeah, let's have, let's have a little sip of my tea. Let's just grab that from behind my desk. Lovely. <laughs> Nice. Now, these desks are just sort of like a semi-permanent structure at the moment because uh, a Scottish Rod has kindly offered to come and build me a desk. Now, part of me... Is, there you go, there's the shake again. I think it's when ships take off, come to think of it. And that, it, that's not too infrequent, and it wasn't enough that it upset my green screen. But what I'm thinking is maybe if I get Scottish Rod to build one of my desks, and I'm going to build the other two, I might keep all three. Even though that I, I might put it to the vote and just say which one do you like the most as a location and let you guys sort of have that little bit of fun. But I might keep all three desks. And there's a reason why I'm thinking I should keep all three desks. And that's mainly because what if one of them gets trolled? What if there's what if I accidentally put out the portal coordinates and a load of other bases appear and I start losing frame rate on these areas? You know, because that could scupper me doing the news in that particular location. Hence why I've also got one on my freighter, you know. So, yeah, I might just have all three desks. Might be greedy. <laughs> and then I can mix it up a bit. You know, at least then if I've got Viking-related news, I could come here. If I've got Gek or Corvax, I can go to their respective, you know. And the sun is coming up now, people. Let's see if this changes the who a little. Oh, I love that. Look at the skies, the purples and the blues. It looks like my sort of background inside of my freaking studio. I'm liking this green grass. I'm liking the red trees. I quite like the fauna on this landscape. Yeah, there is a little bit of a shake every time ships land. I'm not too sure whether that's happening in my other ones. I didn't notice it. I already noticed it since I come here. That's a good cup of tea. Anyway, people, so there we are. So there are, I found all three archives now. Personally, I, I, I've not really got a personal preference or a personal favourite. I like all three of them, but for different reasons. Um, this one, I'm, I'm not so keen at the fact that we haven't got many NPCs walking around, but we have got quite a lot of ship activity. And the planet is gorgeous. And you know what? I quite like where this desk is associated. It's like whenever I turn my laptop screen on. There we go. Let's turn the laptop screen on. Boom. It looks like it's actually on that sort of support beam that's in the background, doesn't it? A little, a little, people. I mean, it's, it's not the best to preview at the moment because I haven't got my other laptop screen on. So there we go, peeps. Um, yeah, I, I think that pretty much sums it up, doesn't it? Let's jump back over to me. I need to go and upload this base and give it its name, but I'm probably going to call this one green. Yeah, green. Why not? Green and red or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I name it, I put it up. You know what? I might rename them all. I might call this one Viking and call the Corvax one Corvax and the Gek one Gek, you know? And just like Corvax desk, Viking desk, that sort of thing. So it's a little bit easier to know which one you guys are voting for when I do a poll. So tomorrow's Captain Cup of Tea with Captain Steve episode is going to be me going to all three of these, showcasing them and uh, showing them off. In fact, I'm going to be moving the Gek desk because I didn't like the positioning of that one. I'm going to move that one. And uh, I'll re-showcase all these tomorrow and I'll be putting out a live poll. Oh, my days. There's, a, there's an exotic ship landing, people. There's an exotic ship landing. Let's go and have a look at that quickly. <laughs> oh, it's got me floating on the screen. One second, let me let me take that off. And um, ooh, 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 ooh. there I am, I'm back. Right, quick, we've got to get to this. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? I've lost it, I've blinking lost it. I'm messing about with... Ah, it's gone. 
It did land. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. It's a red one as well. It matches my logo colours in a roundabout way. I mean, it's got gold on it rather than silver. Let's have a little. Let's have a look at butchers on this. Um, make an offer on Lifeform Starship. I can't really give you the coordinates of this, people. I've already said I don't really want people putting bases here and stuff like that. So I can't put this out there. But look at that. Look at where the boosted slots are. I don't know whether it's a first wave. I mean, I've been here a little while, so I don't think it is. But it frequents this system. And what an awesome ship that is. And the odd thing is, this is actually a low economy. I particularly chose low economy systems because there's a less chance of storms. So the economy is declining. It's It was a one star. And it's got an exotic ship in this system. How interesting is that? That's pretty darn freaking spectacularly awesome, isn't it? Can I rename these? I think I've already uploaded the other ones, though. Yeah, I have, haven't I? Okay, well, I call this one NMSA Archive. NMSA Archive. Here we go. Boom, I do. Shkabow. Done, dilly, and done. All right, people. Well, I'm going to get back to it, but there we go. What a lovely little ship that is. It's quite nice. Not my favourite. I, I prefer the small guppies when it comes to exotics, people, inside the Viewerverse. I really do. I'm really liking this. This is really cool, isn't it? I wonder whether the NPCs will relocate on reloads every now and again. Because it's very... I'm sure we should see more NPCs walking about here, you know? Hopefully that'll be the case. But it doesn't really overly matter. It doesn't ruin things at all for me. Yeah, there we are, peeps. Anyway, I've got a save point up here. And I need to upload this base. I'm just going to hit a little save. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much me done. Anyway, people, I'm, I'm jibber-jabbering on. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.